<laughs> oh, girl! Chris, what are you doing watching these drama channels? What do you mean? I'm just, I'm, I'm watching some content over here, Maya. Yeah, but do you have any way to even turn this into a mental health topic? No, can't I just sit back and be entertained for five freaking minutes, Maya? Chris, I'm just looking out for you. I don't want you to turn into a drama zombie, all right? So knock it off. This is your last warning. Maya, I am a grown ass man. I will do whatever I- <laughs> What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is about drama, but not about drama, because we only talk about drama if there's something that we can learn from it to see what we can do to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So typically with the stuff that's going on, there's lessons to be learned about the successes as well as the mistakes, all right? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell or Maya might come at you like she done did me. So speaking of cat fights, let's talk about Trisha Paytas and Gabby DiMartino. I honestly have had no idea who she is. I didn't realize there were this mini Gabbies, all right? But before we jump into this, those of you who are new to my channel, like my videos are for you, okay? Like everybody's just sitting around watching all the drama unfold, but here we try to take this mess and turn it into a message, all right? So I want you to look at your own life and the arguments and fights that you get with uh, your friends and everything like that, all right? So the first thing that I wanna talk about, the very first thing that I wanna talk about is compassion. Okay, so my audience here at the Rewired Soul, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm I'm gonna come at you like uh, like Dad Chris real quick. I'm not mad. I'm just a little bit disappointed. All right, <laughs> like when we when we talk about different subjects and everything like that, like depending on who, you know, we might be using to uh, give some context to what we're talking about, like the trash talking that goes on down in the comment section, right? Like the Amberlynn Reed video I did, like I was like. That was like a vulnerable video for me talking about like my weight loss struggles and everybody and everybody, everybody's in there like, screw Amberlynn Reed. Like, what are you people doing? What are you guys doing? Like, here's the thing, as a recovering drug addict, I try to forgive people. I try to hope for the best for people that they can learn and grow. Like, do people screw up? Of course, I screw up, you screw up, some of us screw up more than others. But when it comes to Trisha Paytas, all right, is she a flawed human being? Yes, so am I, so are you, okay? But here is my best argument for showing a little bit of compassion, okay? Because Trisha Paytas made a whole ass video about me eating a turkey sandwich in her car, ranting about me, and if you didn't see it, here's a little clip. This is coming from a drug addict, once an addict, always an addict, that is it. Coming from a drug addict who has a child who's no longer with that person, I don't know the thing, but it's like, you have a child, you're not married to that mom, you have another girlfriend that's, do you know what I'm saying? And he acts like his is so perfect. And like, just looking at him, you know, he, he does judgments just by looking at our videos and just by looking at his videos, not his physical appearance, just like looking at his videos and looking at him. And the it's like, he looks tired, he looks worn out. Like, he acts like he's such an expert. Because if I can have some compassion and forgiveness for Trisha Paytas, you can chill the hell out a little bit too. But also think about in the rest of your life, right? Like, are you holding on to resentments? Are you not forgiving other people? Like, I was taught a very long time ago, like, no matter how passionate I get or, you know, when I get, uh, you know, uh, upset about certain things, like, I don't hold on to anger. Okay, because I was taught a very long time ago, holding on to resentments is like drinking poison and hoping the other person dies. It does absolutely nothing for us, all right? But anyways, in this video, we're gonna be talking about borderline personality disorder, dealing with people who have borderline personality disorder, because I swear to God, like I watch all this stuff go down and Trisha Paytas has publicly stated multiple times that she has borderline personality disorder. And this does not mean that she gets a pass. But if you understand BPD, you understand a little bit about what's going on. But the first thing that I wanna talk about is this tweet from 
Gabby DiMartino. You wanna talk about a mean girl? Trish did manipulate me into tweeting my apology because she knew I would do anything to get her to still like me. And while she's texting me everything's fine, she's continuing online because I guess this is what she does and likes. Like listen, I have no idea how old Gabby DiMartino is, but she's verified on Twitter. I, I'm guessing she's 18 plus, like, Gabby DiMartino is a grown ass woman, all right? But again, this is for you, okay? So the other day, I put up a poll on my community tab and said, how many of you struggle with standing up for yourself? All right, it was over 70%. I think the last time I checked it, it was 73 or 75%. 75 or 73%, something around there, of people saying that they have problems standing up for themselves. Listen, I empathize with you. I used to be a people pleaser. I used to let people walk all over me and everything like that, but guess what? That was my problem, okay? Like, I couldn't go around playing victim and talk about how everybody's manipulating me because I don't know how to stand up for myself. Like, we need to take some responsibility for what's going on. Like, guess what? People don't manipulate me the way they used to because I learned how to stand up for myself. And no, it's not just this easy thing where you can flip a switch right but if you're if you're like blaming your your mom for manipulating you or your friends for peer pressuring you into going out like you are an adult okay like do you think your boss cares if your friends manipulated you into a late night of drinking right like do you think that's a valid excuse no it's not you will get fired okay so my suggestion is start working on this. Start understanding why you have a problem standing up for yourself, right? Start understanding why you have a problem saying no, okay? Start to figure out why why you apologize so much when you don't need to apologize, right? This is something that I still work on to this day, okay? But we do need to take responsibility for ourselves and quit blaming the rest of the world for what we do and our own flaws that we need to personally work on. And here's why that's such a big deal. If we keep blaming the rest of the world for how we operate in our lives, we're never going to improve, okay? So, this second tweet, I'm gonna read from Gabby says, dude, I'm starting to think she plotted this whole thing. The way she flipped out on me isn't normal after having such a lovely week together. Who I was with wasn't the person who was texting me. Imagine someone you admire sending texts like this to you. All right, so this is why people need to understand various forms of mental illness, such as borderline personality disorder, okay? Black and white thinking is one of the primary symptoms of borderline personality disorder. Black and white thinking is actually something that a lot of us struggle with, but for people with BPD, it can be more extreme. Again, I am not excusing the behavior, okay? Because it takes therapy, it takes, uh, you know, in some cases it takes treatment, things like that, I'll talk more about that in a second. But when you understand it, you can have a little bit more empathy and have a little bit more compassion. So someone I would imagine like Gabby DiMartino has no idea, absolutely no idea what it's like to deal with somebody with BPD, right? But you, the viewer, if you have somebody in your life who has BPD, understand that this is very common. And then you get to make the decision, are you going to keep that person in your life or are you going to accept it and learn how to deal with it? All right, but these are the things that happen. So for those of you who don't fully understand what black and white thinking is, like real brief description of it is, we categorize, it's when we categorize people into one of two uh, categories, all right? They're either all good or all bad. So when Gabby DiMartino is like, I don't get it. We had such a lovely week together and then all of a sudden I'm the worst person on earth. That's how black and white thinking works. There's no middle ground, but that's what I would ask you to look at in your life. Like, and this for me, because I've worked with literally thousands of clients 
who have had borderline personality disorder. And the way I'm able to empathize with people who have black and white thinking is to realize that I can have those tendencies too. I just had my therapy appointment yesterday and she even brought up when I was uh, talking about some stuff going on in my life, she's like, Chris, like that sounds like black and white thinking. I'm like, oh dang girl. So you don't need BPD to have instances of black and white thinking, but this might help you empathize with people in your life who have borderline personality disorder. But like I said, this is not a free pass, okay? Like I, I know the different mental health issues that I struggle with, right? There's my addiction, there's my depression, there's my anxiety, you know, all these other things that I struggle with, right? But guess what? Those are my responsibilities. So if I, if I make the conscious choice not to actively work on those things, like nobody owes it to me to hang around me, all right? So when talking about this situation, like Trisha Paytas has been going to therapy. In the H3 podcast, Trisha Paytas talked about how her therapist recommended DBT. DBT is dialectical behavioral therapy. This is a therapy that works wonders for people who have borderline personality disorder in most cases, all right? It is the number one recommended therapy for anybody struggling with BPD, all right? So to look at this from our perspective, right? Like if you are the Gabby in this situation, you get to make the choice, all right? Are you willing to deal with that? Are you willing to put up with it, right? Like if you meet somebody, if you meet a new friend or I don't know, maybe you go out on a date and for some reason they tell you about their mental health and they say, I have borderline personality disorder. Like, are you willing to deal with that? Can you deal with that? If not, you might want to keep it moving, all right? But be prepared for it. Now, if you're a Trisha in this situation, get help and work on it, okay? Like we can go through all the therapy we want. We can go to all the therapy groups we want, but unless we are putting these techniques into action, right? Like we're never gonna improve, okay? Like for example, like I said, my therapist points out these things to me. And then I have my beautiful girlfriend, Tristan, who can point these things out to me when my thinking gets a little bit screwy, all right? But our mental health is our responsibility. And once again, before I let you go, us being manipulated and us standing up to people is our responsibility. Nobody can set boundaries for us. You see what I mean? All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. And if you are in the Shane Dawson palette giveaway, go ahead and retweet this video. Find my tweet of this video, retweet it. You'll get an extra entry into the giveaway, which will be happening this Sunday. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. I gotta go handle Maya now for doing this to my face. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon, as well as everybody out there who supports the channel in other ways, like buying my books, or you buy merch like this shirt I have right here with my little demon cat on it. All right, <laughs> thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.